Hey guys, welcome back and today we're going to be looking at games that I have played the most on my Wii U console. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And coming in at number 1 is Pikmin 1 at 10 hours. Now, the reason this only sits at the 10 hour mark is because, well, I really need to be in the mood to play these sort of games. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think these games are gorgeous and have a lot of charm, but this genre just isn't at the top of my favourite list. However, being a Nintendo IP definitely is what drew me to the Pikmin games. And the next game is Earthbound with 18 hours. Now, Earthbound is a game that I always come back to every couple of years. It's one of those games where its quirkiness slowly draws me in and gets me in the mood to start a new save file. However, usually at the 4 to 5 hour mark, I sort of just lose interest, which sucks, because I can really appreciate this game for what it is. I think it's also due to turn-based RPG games just not being my favourite thing. And this next game is the Metroid Prime Trilogy with only 32 hours. Now I'm shocked this game isn't higher on my list since this has three Metroid Prime games included. But I think the reason for that is I realized that I have actually not played Metroid Prime 2 or not very much of Metroid Prime 1. I have sunk probably the most hours into the third one with probably Metroid Prime 1 coming in second pretty far. But I have always told myself that when I have nothing to play and plenty of spare time, I would sit down and play through the whole trilogy. A game that I have beaten many times and it is one of those timeless classics and honestly just gets better and better every time I start a new game. 54 hours, I am not shocked, um, I think I have beaten this game at least over 10 times combined with the Switch and Nintendo 64 version, but I have only gone for the 120 stars once, which was actually on the all stars version on the Switch. But other than that, I don't really go for all the stars, which is why I don't have more hours on it, but on the Wii U, I have probably beaten this game at least multiple times, however though, with the Switch version, it it is hard to come back to this one. Art Academy is one of those games when I have a creative itch, I play long sessions for a week straight, but then usually won't touch it for months or even a year. I have always been a creative person and I've been drawing my whole life and so this game just fits right at home on my Wii U. I just love being able to draw whatever I want on my gamepad along to some cozy tunes and being able to display your art on your virtual gallery. This game is super underrated on the Wii U and if you enjoy any form of creativity, I would highly recommend this as it actually goes pretty cheap as well. One of my favourite Wii games and a game I bought almost instantly when it was available on the Wii U eShop and that is WarioWare Smooth Moves with 70 hours. This game is super fun with friends and even by yourself. It has so many different mini games and game modes, not to mention the music is just super catchy and has you really just bopping around to it. It's a pretty wacky game and you can tell the devs just had so much fun with all the different art styles and craziness. When playing with friends you can really rack up time with this game trying to beat your records. And the next game is Zombie U with 95 hours and this was actually a launch title for the Wii U and was actually the first game I ever bought for my Wii U console. I played the heck out of this game when I first got it. I would always see how long I could survive in this and try to beat the game without dying. Now there weren't a lot of Wii U launch titles that actually interested me so this tided me over until the next must buy a Wii U game. But regardless, this is still a fantastic Wii U game that I still love coming back to today. With the reputation that Ubisoft has, don't let that deter you as this is definitely a must play for survival horror fan. Majora's Mask is definitely one of my favourite Zelda games and even one of my favourite games of all time. Now, a lot of people didn't actually enjoy the time concept, but I personally never really had a problem with it. It never really derailed my enjoyment for the game, and to me, it actually made the town and overall game feel alive and bustling, with characters doing stuff and being at places at certain times. It really immersed me into the game's world, and I just had a ton of fun just doing all the side quests. It's probably why I have so many hours on this game. I mean, the game is quite short, with only 4 dungeons, so they just filled this game with heaps of content. Ocarina of Time for a long time was my favourite game and I would always play this game yearly. Whether that was doing a 3 hearts no fairy run, permadeath run, 100% completion or just playing through the game like normal. This game really hits me with nostalgia like no other and is the main reason why I always enjoy coming back to this game specifically. The whole ambience and atmosphere in this game is on a whole other level and I can't wait to continue experiencing this game in the many years to come. 
Coming in at number one is my favorite Wii U game of all time, and that is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I did play this game on the Wii and 3DS, but the Wii U version was the first game in the series where I actually experienced online play, and boy, it really added a thick layer on top. I just thought the idea of hunting with three other players was just the coolest thing ever. It was just a ton of fun helping each other out. Some of the most fun I've had with Monster Hunter games was just having a lobby of four people and we would just rotate quests for hours upon hours. I spent a long time helping other hunters with quests, even with quests I didn't even need to do because I just enjoyed it so much. I sunk some serious hours into this game. These days I don't play as hard as I used to, but when I do come back to play, I do get pretty heavily invested for a month at a time. Anyway guys, those are the games that I played the most on my Wii U console. Let me know what games you guys have played the most on your Wii U as I would love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it really helps me out. And so with that guys, I will catch you next time.